Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Okay. So I want to go ahead and talk about the situation that went on with Danny Lay and Kendra G. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because when it went down on, I believe this was Monday, I had a lot of people tagging me on Instagram, hitting me up on Twitter, like, oh, look, you try to take her for Danny Lay and she's trying to take an opportunity from another black woman. Don't you feel dumb? First of all, let me get this, uh, let me clear this, let me clear y'all up real quick, okay? If you go back and you watch my video, I never once was dick riding or taking up for Danny Lay. I said clearly her and B. Simone can hold their own fucking breast, okay? They can hold their own breast, they can hold their own boobs. Because why? Both of them are problematic. Danny Lay is problematic and so is B. Simone. What I said in that video is that if B. Simone wants to be mad, she needs to be mad at her production company and Nick Cannon. They owe their loyalty to her, not to Danny. So what is very interesting here is that um, Kendra G went on live the other day and went in on Danny Lay, like literally drug her. And this was all over Twitter. Everybody was posting it. It was viral. But for me, I don't just, I don't jump on the social media bandwagon train, the fake outrage tra train. I'm not into that. I want to get both sides and see what's going on before we post up. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this video of what went down on Monday. Give me just a second here. Hold on. Let me refresh this page. Okay, here it is. So Jerome Tremell says Danny Lay successfully had B. Simone removed from her appearance at Wild and Out, but today she tried to have my friend Kendra G removed from her job as an on air radio personality, and Kendra G aired her out. All right, well, let's listen. It was uncomfortable. This goofy ass person of the day award goes to Danny Lay, and let me tell you why. Danny Lay is in the city of Chicago. I don't know why. Probably got a high school appearance. Who the hell knows? But she was set to do an interview with the morning show. And she requested that I, Kendra G, be removed from the interview because she was uncomfortable talking to me. Girlfriend, this ain't wilding out. You ain't going to be Simone me. <laughs> now your whole interview has been canceled. But I'm trying to figure out why didn't you want to talk to me in the first place? I asked you on the radio defending your honor. I really felt the way when your baby daddy played you on that infamous IG Live and I defended you on the radio. Now, shout out to B. Simone, who I know in real life, rock with in real life, but I actually understood why you didn't want to do Wild Night with her. But I'm still trying to figure out why the hell you ain't want to talk to me? Now, are you nervous? I'm going to ask you the questions that need to be asked. Like, are you still sleeping with your baby daddy after you beat your brother up and played you on the IG Live? And you know what? I probably would have asked you that question because I need to know. Because if you forgave him, that means I need to forgive him. Are you nervous I was going to bring up that whack-ass Jello Bone song? Girlfriend, I don't care. You can make a song about your skin tone and, and celebrate it. I love being a dark-skinned woman. Ain't no whack-ass song like that going to make me insecure about my complexion. Are you nervous that I was going to ask you, like, how did it feel to be a girlfriend thinking you was better than all the baby mamas just to become a baby mama and get treated worse? And you know what, Diddy Lay? I probably would have asked you all those questions because guess what? That's my job. That's what I do. I ask the questions that the people know. Maybe you should focus on your job, be in the studio and make a hit. And we got to talk about your music and not about your personal life. That's not my fault that your personal life is more relevant than your music. That's your fault. You are around here trying to get people removed from interviews. They don't go down like that. Now you miss out on the opportunity to have a radio interview on number one urban station in Chicago. And guess what? This opportunity might not come around again because your music ain't popping. So with that being said, sit your goofy ass down. Enjoy Chicago while you're here. Child, okay. Let me come back on the screen. <laughs> so she went in, honey. Very loud, very just, I mean, she, she went in. It came off very personal. So then the very next day, not even 24 hours later, all of a sudden I see her and Danny Lay hugged up. 
looking like long lost sisters and shit. So I'm like, okay, this makes no sense whatsoever. So let me go ahead and play y'all this clip. We had posted this on my Instagram. And just shout out to, to my tea sippers who follow me, who just have discernment, who just don't jump on everything because the top comment was just spot on. So let me show y'all this. So y'all just listened to her whole rant. This was them the very next day. Women can talk and figure things out as we both were telling our truths, as in she genuinely didn't know about the interview. I, her team genuinely conveyed that she did not want me a part of the interview, which then promoted me to do that video. And girls yeah. didn't feel like I no, understand. I don't. I don't. They didn't feel like <laughs> after that. I, 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 she ate me up, though. I, I understand. I, I, I want to say that there's no joy in my heart and what that, that energy that the video brought to you. I don't have joy in my heart. It was just that that was my truth. You know, this is what I do. And for someone to say that, speak on her behalf and tell my radio station that she's not comfortable interviewing with me, she'll do with other people. You know, I'm gonna go hard on the thing. I understood she was not. She always writes for me too, so. And, and, that, and that was the thing, as a, as a woman, you know, there are certain things that you live like in front of the world. And I'm a woman, I made mistakes in dating past, but there was no camera following me. So there was, yes, women can talk following me. So there was a, there's a sympathy that I do have for you in that way. And there's only things you're gonna learn in the journey of dating. It's just that you're doing it in front of the world. Yeah. So I do have a sympathetic poem in my heart for But then you know, girl, when I feel like I'm being attacked, I'm gonna attack. Right. So I just wanna say this, we talked. We um, it people, was a misunderstanding. People behind the scenes did some things they shouldn't have did. At all. And Speaking of for me, which I was not aware. And we're not gonna give. I mean, we we there's certain names we just can't share. But she did not know. But I genuinely was told that her team spoke for her, but they misspoke for her. Yeah. So but we probably ain't go to that interview shop because I got to ask you a question. I already know. I don't know if you want to answer that question, girl. So, but listen, let's let's send her positive love. Let's send her. Let's change that energy I sent out yesterday. Let's 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 change that energy and, and send love and show that women can have conversations. Get to the bottom of it, follow me. So there was a move forward in a positive way. Yes, I love it. And I, and I, and I really do wish you the best of luck. I wish you the best I really do. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Got high school parents. Who the hell know? Child, let me come back on the screen, hoodie. Cause y'all are in the y'all are in the chat wilding out. Ten thousand people in here. Bam! Y'all are wilding out in the chat. There's a lot of tomatoes and clown emojis. Now, this is my issue with the whole situation. Um, because like I said, I'm only addressing this because along with Kendra being loud and wrong, her fans were coming to me trying to say, oh, you try to defend Danny and she did the same thing to Kendra. So y'all who were trying to attack me on IG, y'all look just as stupid because it wasn't even true. It didn't even happen. Okay. Um, but what's so very funny is like, everybody's like, oh, this is very grown of them. No, what it is, all of this should have been handled behind the scenes. I think that if Kendra had gotten word that Danny Lay didn't want to come on her show for whatever reason, Kendra should have, you know, got directly with the people, figured out what the issue was. It should have been handled behind the scene because now it comes off as just strange. You know what I'm saying? Because she drug her and that video is still up. Jerome didn't take that video down. Nobody did. So people still believe the lie. The second video of Kendra, you know, not apologizing, but addressing it with Danny, that's not viral. That only got like maybe a few thousand comments. Whereas when she was dragging Danny, oh, the whole, everybody was, there was names I hadn't seen in years. The whole Chicago was in that damn comment post. Sasha Go Hard was there. Katie got banned. Uh, Mr. Shy City, it's like the whole Chicago came out. They were on that post. And I loved it because I haven't seen Sasha Go Hard in years. I'm like, oh shit, let me go ahead and see what she's up to. So it's funny how drama brings people out. But when they were trying to rectify the situation, that same energy wasn't reciprocated. And I think that that's really sad. You know what I'm saying? Because again, all of this could have been prevented had they just communicated instead of bringing this to social media. Now, like I stated before, if this was true, let's say, you know, happenstance, let's say this was true. And Danny Lay said that she did not want to meet with Kendra G. My stance would be the same exact thing. The same thing I said to be Simone, okay? 
Danny Lay has the right to say if she wants to go on to somebody's show and interview with a particular person or work with a particular person or not. Celebrities send in requests all the time. This is not strange. There are literally celebrities out here who request they want nothing but green M&Ms in their green room. And guess what? There'll be a whole bowl of green M&Ms. So this is not strange. The point is, it is the company's job to have that person's back. So in this instance, if it was true, uh, WGCI, they did the right thing by telling Danny Lay to kick rocks and we're standing behind our radio personality, Kendra G. So how, that is the same thing I said for B. Simone. She's taking her anger and she's directing at the wrong person. She needs to be mad at Nick Cannon and wilding out for not standing next to her. And telling Danny Lay, no, if you're going to come on the show, B. Simone can be on the show as well. So my thing is this. All of this is supposedly squashed now. It wasn't true. It was a misunderstanding. To me, the apology should have been just as loud as the disrespect. Because she really went in. Matter of fact, one of the top comments on the Instagram page, um, Jaslyn said this. She says, this is a perfect example of somebody revealing how they truly feel about you after a simple misunderstanding. I'm sure the truth lies somewhere in the middle, but if I were Danny, Kendra would never get an interview out of me after that level of public disrespect and she reacted prematurely. And I agree with that. I felt like it was a lot of brushing it off and, oh, we're cool and, oh, you know, I wish her the best and positive energy, but I didn't hear an apology for dragging her. I heard a lot of Kiki and like, you know, sometimes I get mad it's okay to just apologize and say, you know what? I was wrong. You know, I shouldn't have jumped the gun. I think I would have received that better because she really drug her. And to me, this makes Danny look weak. I'm sorry. This is not woman empowerment. Danny, you need to stop worrying about being a yellow bone and get your ass a backbone. Okay. You have no backbone when it came to the to your baby daddy, the diaper. You have no backbone when it came to be Simone. Then you had no backbone in this situation. She literally looks like a lost puppy looking for love. She's all on Kendra hugging on her and, oh, my God. And it was just a, like, girl, get off of me. Like, we're too old for this shit. Girl, move. I need my damn space. Give me 50 feet. COVID is still a thing. Monkey pox. Girl, back up off of me. Maybe that's just me. I don't like people. I don't know like that hugged up on me and all that weird shit. Girl, <laughs> five feet. COVID is real. Okay. I don't know. But Miss Miss Yellowbone, I'm going to need you to get a backbone. Okay. I, she just came out very thirsty. Like, oh my God, let me hug up on her and love on her and just forgive her. And, you know, so that way people don't think I have an issue with dark skinned women. And I don't even think that she really even has an issue per se. I think her goofy ass was just gassed up by all the stupid shit the baby and other people were telling her. You know what I'm saying? But it just, it came out very weak. It just, it, she looked very weak to me. Because I'm sorry, like that level of disrespect, you you couldn't just brush over that. I need a, a genuine apology. And then the fact that the disrespectful post is still up. If her and Jerome are friends, tell Jerome to take the shit down. But guess what? Nobody's going to take it down. Why? Because drama is way more juicier, gets way more clicks, gets way more views than something peaceful and mending relationships. So all those drama clips, they're still up. They're still up on Twitter. So being that this clip of them, you know, making up the next day didn't go viral. What, what do you think everybody's perception is of Danny Lay right now? That once again, she, she tried to get another black woman fired and it wasn't even true. So I just find the whole situation just kind of crazy. So I, I was just laughing because the fans were trying to come at me the next day as if I just like, what did I do wrong? I said my truth. In my B. Simone Danny Lay video and the same truth I said in that video applied to that situation. Common sense should tell you that if I'm saying that Nick Cannon, the production should have had B. Simone's back, why would I feel away about WGCI having Kendra G's back? They did what they were supposed to do. It just so happens it didn't happen. So I, I, I don't know. But I just find the whole situation just very, very interesting that I don't even know if the Shade Room posted the, the second you know, their meetup. I'm not sure. They might have posted it. I'm not sure. But it definitely did not go viral like the dragging. You know, and this is why we have to watch, you know, just the things that we do and the moves that we make. Like we need to really have evidence before we jump the gun because now Kendra looks like the bad guy. She looks like the angry black woman. And once again, oh, she's picking on Danny and Danny's able to skate away and look like the victim. You know, so that's the thing. We want to make sure our T's are crossed and our I's are dotted. But, you know, I still like Kendra. I like her work. She's doing her thing. 
But I just thought it was very funny because she was just so angry and going off the day before. And then the next day was like, oh, well, we talked and everything's all good. And, you know, I just want to send positive energy. And I'm like, well, where's the apology, though? Like, they say, apologize. That's just what we do as grownups. When we make mistakes, you just apologize for it. Just give a sincere apology. You were wrong and that wasn't what happened. You know, so I just find the whole, yeah, it <laughs> <laughs> Jelena says it was nothing but damage control. Yeah, it definitely came off like damage control, you know, but it didn't help with Danny Lay the puppy child, you know, hugged up on her arm and shit. <laughs> Even the thumbnail had me cracking up. I'm like, what is this? Like, are you four? Get off of her arm. <laughs> Miss Yellowbone needs a backbone child. Oh my gosh. Too much shit out here for y'all to be hugging on strangers. Be careful now. Get the lights off. <laughs> if you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.